Welcome to Venice Beach, California. This is The Real Swag. I'm your host, Cyrus. We're here today to find out what is it about American Idol that makes it tick. We're going to ask some people out here on the beach what they know about the show. If they want to check it out, we're going to go from there. You're watching The Real Swag. What is your name, beautiful? Bree. Bree, I was going to call you Sunshine because you look so beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Well, you glow too, baby. Okay, thank you, love. Have you ever watched American Idol? Yes. What do you think of the show? You know, I love it. Okay. Are you watching the current season? No. Should I be? I think you should. We got, we got, we have new guest hosts now and judges and all that stuff. Why wouldn't you check that out? I will. So you think American Idol is a good thing? Do you sing? Uh, well, I attempt to. Okay. Well, you want to hum a couple of tunes for us? What are you gonna tell me? I, I would love to, to sing. What do you want me to sing? It's American Idol, baby. You just gotta do what you do. Yeah. Fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. Burn, 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 baby. How's that? Fire. Yeah. I can't sing, baby. I'm not that guy. I'll leave it to you, though. To I'm not that. a singer. Yeah, you are. Yeah. You are now. You put a little auto-tune in the background like T-Pain. Bang! Yeah. As long as you're marketable, baby, you can make it happen. My name is Bree Walker, and this is The Real Swag. Swagalicious. <laughs> I got my man Sarge here. Sarge, how you doing, brother? Good, Sarge, man. Good to see you, man. What city are you from? I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, representing all the way from Florida out here in Cali. You know how we do it. Okay, well, the real swag wants to know your take on the new American Idol. What you think of this show, and uh, have you been checking it out? I've been watching American Idol, and I, I'll be honest, you know, uh, when American Idol first came on, it was fun, it was exciting, but now I'm starting to see a little politics involved in it, you know what I mean? Certain people getting voted off that shouldn't be getting voted off. You know, certain people that win aren't necessarily the best people to win. Now, are you saying it's uh, perhaps a racial thing? Or are you saying that uh, the judges influence it a little more? Well, I, I wouldn't say that uh, there's racism, but let's be honest. There, there may be some racism involved, but it's more of a hidden racism thing. I think that uh, their higher powers influence American Idol, i.e. maybe corporations or possibly certain uh, music companies or individuals in the music game that are saying, hey, we want you to pick that person, or hey, you know, we want to give you that extra, give that extra push to that person. But uh, from the past, it shows that not the best people who win are the best talent that comes out. Look at Jennifer Hudson. She didn't win, but hey, it looks like she's the one that's uh, raking in the dough right now, huh? Hey, this is Sergeant Hollywood, a.k.a. the Grill Sergeant, and we're giving a big shout out to the real swag. Can you smell what the sergeant is cooking? Now get your swag on. One, two, three. It's that real swag. We back again. Venice Beach, beautiful day, beautiful young lady. What's your name, honey? Maggie. What your name is? Maggie. What your friends call you? Maggie. You ain't got no nickname? Magalicious. <laughs> I knew if I dug enough, I'd get to it. Okay, now talk to me, honey. Where you from? Long Beach. Long Beach, that LB? Yeah. You can't crip walk? No. You, you in LB, you must watch American Idol, right? Yes. Who's your favorite contestant? No one. So you don't like the show? I think it's full of shit. Damn, I think it's all money, it's all set up, and then, you know, some of the best singers, they don't even win. They pick some shitty ones. It is for entertainment purposes only, right? It is, if that's what you like to watch. Okay, well, okay. what else do you watch? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I like music, but I don't want to see that. You know, I want to hear real music. I don't want to hear you redo somebody else's song. Come with your own shit, be original. Yeah, you at like least, Simon? At least, yeah, I do like Simon, because Simon tell like it is. Are you going to show a white boy some love? Yeah. You've had one of your... Simon Cow, yeah, you know. I'm Magalicious, and this is the real swag. It's going down. Brother, what's your name? General Jihad of the West Coast Killer Bees, Wu-Tang. Oh, you Wu-Tang like that? True indeed. Oh, okay. I might have to have you spit a little something before we get done with this, you know. But I got a question from you. Since you're a real artist, and you know about real things going on, how do you feel about American Idol? I only seen American Idol, like, a couple of times. I actually got invited to go to a show one time. It's pretty cool. Well, you know I'm a casting director. Perhaps you're the next American Idol. I don't know about that, man. Uh -huh. I don't think I can do the spandex, bro. Uh, <laughs> I mean, why not? I'm a little slim, bro. We'll I can't give you do a little, little spandex. We'll you know what I mean? I might. We'll you know give you know ultra, I mean? ultra small, things, bro. Ultra small <laughs> fit, right? Nice and tight. I can't do the tight. Okay. <laughs> for the right price, could you do this? I couldn't do it for the right price. I want to give a shout out to the Real Swag TV. This your man, General Jihad from the West Coast Killer Bees. Y'all know what it do. Soo!
My entire squad mob golly, one mind, one body. Muscle in the game like Bugsy Siegel or John Gotti. Graphic bastards, I am a comedian master. My breath of life can cause natural disasters. I crush Satan's palace with the strength of Samson. You striving to hold the weight on your back like Atlas. I baffle your minds with the mysteries of the Sphinx. Celestial being, connected like satellite links. Watch what you think, I'm in sync with your darkest fears. Best be prepared, true and living is breaching your atmosphere. Now you stand face to face with the owner and maker, the giver, the taker, vampire headhunter and backbreaker. There you have it. Now that's real swag on the real yeah. swag. It's going down right here. West Coast representative of the Killer Bees. West Coast, right? Sure. How you do that? Bang. That's it. You know that. Your boy Cyrus, that real swag. Let's get it. Got my beautiful young guest here. But before we start, I want to let you know how the ghetto productions are. Honey, look at your craft services to your right. Your craft services. You get thirsty. Grab that. What is your name, honey? Aaron. Aaron, where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. I want to get your real take on American Idol. Oh my God, I'm in love with it this year. Are you? Well, first of all, I'm infatuated with J-Lo, you know. You're not the only one. Yes. And then actually this, I haven't watched it in years, but this is the first time I watch it. I think they have real talent. You kind of resemble J-Lo a little bit. Oh, you. you see? Oh. Yeah, she got a little whole acre in her backyard, by the way, in case I you didn't notice. Swing is jacuzzi the whole nine. She's doing it well. But um, what else about J-Lo is it that makes you watch the show? Well, the fact that she looks beautiful every episode, um, her style, and I think she's a way better judge than Paula. I do think some of the people they have today are not marketable. Like that's on the season now. They're not marketable. They might be talented, but they're not marketable. Like, I think Jacob is amazing, but he's not marketable. He sounds way too churchy. I'm not talking about who you're trying to hang out and sleep with. No. I'm talking about... Well, trust me, he ain't trying to sleep with me. Hey, what's up? This is Aaron Pepper. Follow me on Twitter, at Aaron Pepper. Rep in Los Angeles, and this is The Real Swag. That's it. The episode's done. We all had fun. Now it's time for me to roll out. But stay tuned, because we're coming back with more of that swag. Shit we all get. The Real Swagger, your boy Cyrus. Peace. I'm out.